Now this morning in Home Design, Hamish is here to define the basic design rules between four different interior style trends. Morning Hamish. Good morning guys. Well, might I say this looks really wildly yeah. exciting what you've got going it looks, on here. It looks really exciting when you put the neutral for each scheme on yes, the top. Exactly. And, and there's not a lot of variance. Uh, I just wanted to have a bit of a chat with you guys about um, the way you define different styles because mm -hmm. people always say I want that modern look or I want this look and uh, sometimes you then look at the pictures and go, hmm, not mm. quite. Uh, we're going to kick off. We're going to have um, a look at a, um, a modern sort of colour scheme and we're going to have a look at the, the difference between that and contemporary. So you can have a look on the screen now. You're going to see what, a modern difference? look and a contemporary look. Now, the difference is modern is from the early 20th century through to the mid 20th century. Oh, okay, right? that spans a big, big period, it doesn't it? It does, it does. Whereas contemporary technically is anything that is on trend now. So modern is old. Uh, well, yeah, but it's modern compared to really old stuff. <laughs> so the, the, the key to get around it is that modern stuff is going to have your, it's got your softer tones, it's got some quite clean lines, it's got some pops of colour, as you can see there, coming in. You've got your nice greens coming in. But it, it's certainly more of a period from the 1950s and 1960s in particular. I like that. You will have heard of people talk about mid-century modern. Yeah. Okay? Whereas, you know, a contemporary interior very much just focuses in on what is happening now. So if something is is um, say even Scandinavian themed and it's now that would technically be a contemporary way that right. we're viewing it so it's the, it's right. a point in time not a reference to a style I think I'm a Scandi modern girl I'm going to show you some colors now that I picked out because for each one um, they'll be up online and bits and pieces for you to find the exact well can I just say great that you're sharing because you're doing yourself out of a job here well I, I am well I think it's this is an easier way of doing it so obviously every colorway is going to have a neutral of its own so we've got a neutral slightly grayed off the face this is concrete same color as our bench Oh, so those too. Yeah. That's worked out. Could have left that sample at home for you, Mike. Mm. And then we've got an, an, a nice soft sort of tan sort of colour which sits well with it. We've got a soft sort of green. And if you wanted a bit more of a bold colour, we've got more of a jewel coloured green as well. Okay, so these are modern. Um, these are modern colours. These will fit oh. your modern colour palette. Mel, very modern today. Thank you. Okay, so I mean, yeah, you know, we've all heard of mid-century modern sort of stuff. It's that Scandinavian styled furniture, which we'll cover off a bit. Okay. On. I love that. Okay, so what's your next choice? Okay, next we're going to talk about uh, the loft look. Okay, now the loft look sort of came in, you know, in the 80s and 90s. It was that very New Yorky thing. Yes, very New York. And uh, we all knew that. So the, the things that you see here are concrete, brick, steel, glass, taking industrial light fittings. Now, see, there's your steel staircase with your glass. They were very, very simple in their approach, um, and they had raw materials, which was the key. Obviously, we all mentally think about a, uh, a loft look as red brick. That's nice. You don't see as much of the brick thing going on, the red brick in New Zealand, because we don't have a lot of old brick warehouses. Uh, but certainly, there we go, with some colour coming into it. You can have some di darker, moodier colours. You have slightly warmer timber tones. And that's wow. more of your more modern loft look. That's so cool. it's a new house that's sort of been designed to give it to you. High ceiling heights and lots of light. OK, cool. Right, now I have got colours for you here as well. Yes. Well, shall I not show you the modern ones again? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you pick them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this is um, obviously we've got the uh, dark gravel grey. We've got things like Cab Sav, which is a dark sort of maroon colour. And then we move through into our remaining neutrals. So there's something for everyone. You, yeah. you don't need to use, you don't need to paint the whole thing out white. Right. Uh, which there was that trend white with uh, the bricks on the wall and bits and pieces. You can add pops of colour and some depth. Yeah, so these are all resin colours, aren't they? They like are this, all. No, I love this. You cab like Cab Sav? I do. I'd rather have that it, on the floor so I can hide the stains. It's appropriately named. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so you very much so. Okay, so what's the next trend? Uh, okay. And what are the rules to pulling this trend off? Well, okay, the, the next one we're going to have a look at is French. Okay, and it's it's coming back the French, the French farmhouse sort of feel to it. Now the key here is they are monochromatic typically, so you know you've. Got got one colour that tends to blend through. Uh, you can introduce pops of colour. They are very calm houses. They feel more like homes. So that's when you get that look where you say someone actually lives here, as opposed to that minimalist look where you've got absolutely nothing. Mm. And you can bring through soft colours, see soft greys with the whites. Tends to be more of a grade off effect to the house. Mm. Okay. But uh, you've actually got some stuff, which is kind of nice. I quite like the French look. I, know, I think it works quite well with our villas. Um, and our bungalows, you can bring it into that sort of trend as well. No, you're right, especially with you know, lots of high ceilings and stuff too, it looks awesome. Yeah, think, you know, yeah. And, and your colour comes in a bit more with yeah. your artwork. Okay, so here we go. Nice. French colour scheme. Very neutral. If you wanted a bit of power, you can have a little bit of a green-grey, but then as you can see, it sits more in your sort of beiges and tops and things like that. 
Okay. Yeah, beautiful ravines. So Merci what, beaucoup. Yeah, I so. know, I know. Actually, what is this screen? I love this screen. Resine Temple Stone. There you go. There you go. Nice. nice. I like okay, that one. so one more trend you've got for us, and what are the tips to make this one really work? Right, well, this is the one that everyone likes. This is Scandi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I get asked for this a lot at the moment, and uh, Scandinavian themes are white, straight lines typically, and with the timber floors, but they don't just have to be white. You can bring in your pastels and your colour. So the white may be slightly blue based, like we're looking at a screen now. It's it's sharp but not too sharp. We're bringing in our greys uh, and they tend to be more of a softer mid-grey that we're choosing. Uh, and right there, you can add colour. You see, so you've got your pastel pinks, your pastel mauves, your pastel greens. Oh, that works really well, though. With your timber. So yeah. it doesn't just have to be white and timber. Okay. You can bring it influence and colour with it. And now we have my colours. Okay, these are you. from Rosina again. Yeah. So I've actually put in a dark colour, which you won't have seen in the uh, pictures. Some people like a darker tone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we've got our soft apricotty beiges, our soft blues, more of a turquoisey aqua blue. Blush pink, resin colour, amazing. Uh, and then a neutral, of course, because you would want some white somewhere in the property. Blush pink, highly recommend if you have a child who wants pink as their room colour. Beautiful. It's a slightly more growing up pink rather than a baby pink, if that it's makes sense. It's not going to do your head in every time you walk in. Really? You know, because sometimes they do. Okay, these are my two favourites here, modern and uh, Scandi. Scandi. Mix those two, it's And great. funnily enough, of course, Scandi fits into modern because it was the 1950s. It does. Hey, thank you, Hamish. Thanks, Hamish. Now, to see more on these colours, you can head to resine.co.nz.